Alright, hello fellow people of the earth, I am Derry50 from Moon to Craft Productions, and we're working on Inf back up again. Um, th today I am thinking about something. I've been thinking about how we're going to handle this, because I just realized that with a number of backups, it's going to get he hef is really, really, like, hefty. What, 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 what is the word I'm looking for? It's going to It's going to be a really long string. A very, very long list of strings. So I'm going to create a few core methods, so just so we can get this testing, uh, but... I'm later going to change this, uh, mo probably, in fact, maybe even this episode, add a paged system so you can page through the different types of, um, the diff you can page through, like, it'll be a list, and then uh, you page to the next page of um, the list, and kind of like that. So we're going to just do um, string handler class, and this class is going to handle all these, dif these different strings and how to uh, convert them so the player can see them. So we're going to, first of all, create a little basic thing here, which is going to take the array list and convert it to something the player can get sent. So I'm going to create a method, public. Um, I guess I have to make it static unless we pass it. And I guess it's alright being static. Down here I have to make it static too. Uh, so we're going to do public static. Uh, Um, void. Let's do a void. It can't return anything. Parse basic string. Uh, string list. This requires an array list string along with uh, a player to send the messages to. So, basically, what this will do, I guess it has to be a list maybe? Oh no, we have to. I'm stupid. I mean, I'm not creative, I'm just gonna make it S. I wanna import player and import array list. And then, pretty much, what it's gonna do is gonna be a for statement for string. Um, let's make this string list. For string S. And then we'll make a colon here and uh, type in string list. So for the amount of strings um, in this array list, uh, it will do something. So we'll do p dot send send message. Wait a minute, did I see that correctly? Uh, apparently it supports multi arg oh okay I'll just use this for now since I haven't used that before so it just basically sends the message for the strings in the send message and adds it in a big line so uh, now we can go in our uh, command listener and uh, below here you want to do player handler dot Oh, I want to do string handler dot parse basic string list uh, player data dot or no player handler dot get player inventories player and that's parsing it to the main player. Also, so that's how that's gonna work. Um, now, let me just think here. Well, it would be cool if we could use color. So what if we, in our string handler class here, we added a little color parse method, and this is actually something I did in uh, another config. I think it was part of this. Um, it's probably in the core part. I'm just going to open this because I forget how you do this. I found this online, I think, a very basic thing. Public string parse string colors. Yeah, that's it. Alright, just to copy that. Put that in string handler. I'll show you how to make it. So public string parse string color string s return s dot replace all uh, and parenthesis bracket zero dash nine a dash f bracket parenthesis and then uh, quote and then you want to put the comma and replace it with that. 
it somehow works. I don't really know what exactly it does. Um, but yeah, that's that's a thing. So, what we can do here, um, p.send message, parse string colors s. I should just do parse string colors parse string colors and this is gonna have to be static. There we go. So that basically makes it so we can have colorful stuffs. Makes it easier for us too, so if we went to our uh back to our thing here. player handler. And then now we can type in color codes. So if we go to there's this page I found online, a part of the Minecraft wiki. If you, if you find, you're going to search color codes, um, Minecraft color codes, and it'll come up. If it will load, that is. I don't know why it's taken an extremely long time to load. Uh, hold on. Right here. So this, this will load. As you can see, all the color codes are here, and you pretty much use these, um, but you put an and, and sign before them. So I'm going to move these over. That's what we want. We want like a no player inventory saved yet for this player. Uh, we can make that like a reddish color. So C, uh, it's kind of like a red color, and you can use and, and it'll like already automatically make that color. So now we can do current backups for a player. And then we can do down here um, to make the player name different. So this is like green and light blue. So current backups of player, and then la la. And actually, at the end of here, I forgot we want to add a little thing. So we'll do go back to green, and we'll do a little colon, and then down here, player imps dot add. We'll do. Um, what should we do? Here? So backup n uh, plus number. Then we'll do. How about? So that's like a pinkish. It is a pink. Um, we'll do gold timestamp. Maybe we could change this to nine. So it's like. I don't know how that'll look. We'll see. And uh, now we can do that. So if we go to if command listener, parse string basic list, we'll do it. we're doing all that stuff. So now, why don't we try this? I think I think we're ready to try it. Whoops, sorry. Uh, now we'll do export um, jar file. I'll export it and put it up there in a second. One second. Alright, now let's run the server, make sure we don't get any errors, and if we do, fix them. I'm not sure why it's not starting. Hold on. Okay, I don't think it worked. Oh, it's a YML. Hmm. I think I'll use another. wrong on our plugin. Um oops. In the backup we have description. Hmm. So I go look into this. Okay, so apparently it was because we forgot a colon right there. Uh, so that should work fine now. We'll save everything and re-export it and then stop the server which for some reason generate regenerated the map um, copy and replace and then start the server up again it looks like I started fine let's try entering these commands let me log in quick and I'll do it alright so a backup just happened naturally um, but if we do what's the command again IB and then show ims so slash ib show ims um, hmm. 
Okay, that's not working. Uh, that is weird. Um, if command equals ignore case IV. Wait a minute. No, down here we want to do that. We want to use the two lines. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, that if that's and and it tries to check says if equals ignore case show inventories and it equals ignore case show inventories, which of course it can't equal both of those, you know, so. Uh, sl sl uh, t both those lines um, make it so that uh, it can either be show inventories or show him. Sorry about that. Um, this is a stupid mistake. So, hold on a sec. Alright, so now if I enter the command show imps, it says usage show imps player, because I messed up. Um, now if I do day 50, um, current backups for player day 50, backup 1. <laughs> okay, so why is that only showing one backup? Curiosity, what backup is it showing? It's showing that one. It seems to be erasing old. Oh, why'd it go to number? Oh, hmm. There seems to be something afoot. Why did it reset to number one when the max number of saves is 30? something I did wrong here. Um, down here, if save mum number save number is greater than or equal to, oh, it needs to be. We this needs to be a less than sign. So if the save number is that less than or equal to in backup dot max saves. Um, yeah, that's another stupid mistake. Okay, that should be good now. And I'm actually going to uh, manually type in 3 here. So that there, it knows that there's 3 backups. And I'm going to re-export this and then try again. Nice, let's try this now. There are all my backups. I have 3 of them. I'll timestamp. The reason why that one is earlier is because I, uh, when it was back, it did a backup while this was messed up and it reset it. Uh, let's just wait for a backup to occur. And then we'll try that command again. So hold on a minute. I'm also not entirely sure why I made a capital B there. Shall we go back here and current backups? There we go. Sorry about that. I'm not sure why I did that. <laughs> Sometimes I just use caps randomly. All right. So backup just commenced. If I reload the player file, it now is fixed and says I have a number of uh, four numbers of backups and. Here is backup four, and then I can do in backup show ims, and current backups for player day fifty one two three four. So one problem. This is that. Um, remember with number, what we did is we had it so it reset to the first number, and then it it like. What am I thinking? One second. It when when uh, when there's max saves, it reset to the first number, and this reset. Um, well, the problem with this command is if it resets, but there are still a number of backups here, it will still show the first one. So we're going to fix that now. What we're going to do is create another uh, number in the player config file. And this will be down here. It'll be, I'm actually going to raw, I'm going to add it right to this one. So it's going to be um, raw number or, yeah, just raw number, why not? What what else can it be? Um, we can do selected and then number. So we actually want to get backups dot selected any place where I have number. All right. Now I want to go back to playdown here. 
and add another default. Third out add default backup start selected zero. So there's a number and then there's a selected one. Uh, so that should work fine. Make sure I did that in all the places that I had number. Set it. I got it there. And I think that's it. Alright, it's cool. So now we'll. Uh, Number will we'll have to add to number now, so inventory save right here. At the end of player file dot set into backups dot selected save number we want to do if and then we wanna do if well first of all we'll do int uh, actual or int saves or no. Hmm. Let's just think. Int number. It's just number. <laughs> it's be boring. Int number equals player file dot get int backups dot number. Now if I do if number um, is um, less than or equal to int backup dot max saves. And we'll do the same thing as we were doing before. Save, or we want to do number plus plus. Um, that's it. Because we're, what we did here is we reset it. Uh, but here we don't want to reset it. So then we can do player file dot set int. Backups dot number number. All right, cool. And then down here, we can do. This is still fine because we're getting the number that's currently working. So, yeah, that'll be. And we can just manually do that for now. And now, if I export this and put it in. The test thing and join the server. Um, so I'll show the backups. Uh, if I stop the server quickly, set the current selected thing to one, and then run the server again. it now shows all the backups regardless of the selected backup. Awesome. Alright. So that's working fine. We s do we still have time? Uh, well, we can keep this video nice and short. Um, so yeah, we uh, we got some stuff accomplished today. We've got the uh, get player inventories command fully working. Next episode we're going to do some more exciting things like actually being able to view that player's inventory. Um, that should be very cool being able to actually open, maybe reset that player's inventory. We'll work on that next time. I know the uh, times for the different episodes have been kind of varying, depending. I, I like to I like to finish things at the end of the episodes, but sometimes I don't, and I get to like the 30 minute mark, which is like the complete dead, need to stop the video mark. 20 minute mark is kind of the average. I'm trying to make it the average anyway. Yeah, yeah sorry about that. Um, I'll try and get a, a nice decent array of videos out. I have been quite busy lately, so that's why um, the videos have kind of not been out as often. But I'm hoping to get them out. Uh, they will be out. Just don't think, just don't think that because I haven't made a video for a week, I'm not, I'm stopping the series. I do have uh, quite a busy life sometimes. So anyway, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.